Hey there, here's Criminal Regret again, and I am reviewing this game called Halo 2. Great game. Great storyline, great multiplayer. Um, confusing controls, I'll have to put it that way. Uh, it's it's hard to get the kind of you know weapon combo that you want, because you can have two weapons, and there are different weapons scattering across, the, across maps. It's a lot easier with an Xbox 360 controller such as this. It has to be a corded kind, otherwise you can't connect it to the computer. For some strange reason, Xbox 360 controllers have a USB connection instead of like you know some unique game portal like PlayStation or whatever. Anyway, um, it's a great game. Like I said, it has good story. Um, you can get it for about forty or twenty dollars around Target or anywhere else that sells video games. Actually, pretty much anything I anything I rate on here actually can be bought at Target or uh, some other video game place. Um, I liked it because it had a bit of humor in it too. You know, they have like these random creatures. They they're like cannon fodder, and they always shout something high pitch and you know hilarious, such as "Wake up, it's the enemy." You know, it it just makes me laugh. I don't know why, but like I said, the controls are confusing, and it costs money to play multiplayer unless you're playing on LAN local area network, which means you have two con computers connected um, by pretty much a wire or a wireless network. But yeah, you have to pay in order to play online. And yeah, it's Halo 1 is also good, but not nearly as good as Halo 2. And Halo 3, I hope to God that they come out with it on PC, because oh, I'd so buy that, but not looking too good. Alright, like I said, turn me on Steam, criminal regret. See y'all later. Hold on, Chad. Cat.